As gay rights activists around the country rejoice over the Supreme Court's rulings on gay marriage, economists say there's another reason to celebrate the potential boost to the economy, pointing first to a shrinking deficit. In 2004, when the Congressional Budget Office last examined the fiscal impact of legalizing gay marriage in all 50 states, the agency found doing so would reduce the federal deficit by a little less than $1 billion a year. A drop in the bucket of the country's looming federal deficit. Plus, Wednesday's ruling only applies to the 12 states and the District of Columbia where gay marriage is legal. But researchers for a think tank on sexual orientation at the University of California maintain with more people filing taxes as married couples, states will rake in millions in more revenue, meaning less for the federal government to dole out. Then there's the potential we'll see a reduced dependence on welfare. A writer at Bloomberg says gay marriage is a fiscally friendly option for this reason, writing, Marriage makes people more robust against financial shocks and less likely to qualify for welfare programs. Same-sex marriage would save hundreds of millions of dollars a year by getting some gay men and lesbians off the Medicaid and Supplemental Security income rolls. But Politico explains tossing out the Defense of Marriage Act means Social Security costs will inch up a bit with same-sex couples now able to receive some benefits they were previously denied. Though at the same time, expect less spending on low-income programs like Medicare and Medicaid, since same-sex couples will have higher combined incomes. Economic forecasts aside, a writer at Slate says there will always be two ways of looking at this, depending on where you fall on the gay marriage debate. If you correctly think that marriage equality will bolster American marriage by allowing it to remain a relevant and modern institution for 21st century life, then you'll see long-term benefits. If you wrongly think that an end to discrimination will lead to the unraveling of heterosexual marriages, then of course you'll see a disaster here. With the court's decision, gay and lesbian married couples will be eligible for more than 1,000 federal benefits and protections. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.